It astounds me how many comics and shows don't utilize this power as much. After doing the research and looking at some of the characters that have it, I gotta be honest, it's probably gonna be my favorite superpower. What's up everyone, thank you so very much for clicking on this video. My name is Lou, and in today's video we're going over the ability known as Animal Mimicry. I'll be giving you the good, the bad, and the interesting, as well as giving you my overall scores for this ability and who I think are the best and worst users. So if that's something you're interested in, please stick with me to the very end. With all that out of the way, let's stop kicking the tires and dive right into the video. So Animal Mimicry is the ability that allows this user to imitate or possess the special abilities of any animal that you can think of. You have their entire catalog of abilities at your disposal with this power. Now, that doesn't mean you can transform into these, these creatures, it just means that you possess their abilities within your body. Think of it like this, with this power you can run like an ostrich or sprint like a cheetah, or the ability to avoid poisons or you know resist poisons like a honey badger. Think about an axolotl. Hello there. You have the regenerative powers of an axolotl. You can regenerate parts of your brain, limbs, organs, like, oh, it's insane. It's insane to me, like nobody utilizes this power enough. There's not enough characters with this power. It, it's baffling. All right, so real quick, I just want to go ahead and get into some of the known uses of this ability. There's only, there's a few I want to name off, the ones that I really have the most knowledge of. So if I don't name any of your characters, I do apologize. It's nothing personal. I, if, if you feel like you I missed a character, please name them and why you might think they're awesome down in the comment section below. All right, starting us off, we got a character that I have not really the biggest knowledge of, but her, her name is Veto, and she's from Black Clover. You also have characters like Watchdog Man from One Punch Man. DC has characters like Animal Man, Vixen, Bawana Beast, and a Kando, a Kondo, a Kondo. I hope I'm saying that right. Now this was an asterisk. You have characters from One Piece via their Devil Fruits, Zoan Devil Fruits, who possesses ability. So let's just go ahead and get into some of the limitations. One of the first limitations I want to talk about in this power is the fact that you won't be able to transform into the animal. So you won't turn into a bird to fly or you won't grow fins or gills or anything like that. It's 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 a lot less complicated than that. You just basically have the powers to mimic them, but not transform into the animal. Another limitation is you'll take on the traits of the animal and not like, you know, physical traits, but like some of their like personality traits. For lions, you'll be very territorial. You got things like cats, you'll play with ball, like a ball of yarn. Oh, flies, you'll, you'll like be drawn to the decaying and like, like dead things like flies or if you're like me you see like the disney animals and like they're all perfect and no no flaws but animals are pretty gross if you really get down to nitty gritty another limitation we need to talk about is the fact that the user of this ability may not be able to copy multiple powers at once so you can't think of it in terms of like uh, a character like peter petrelli from heroes where he can have multiple powers coming on to him at once the user of this ability more specifically targets an animal at a time. So like you would have to go from the strength of a bear to maybe if you want to swim better, go into like a dolphin and like lose the bear strength. You have to switch in back and forth. You have to go from one power to the other. So you don't really have much control over it, that aspect because you can't just be like, oh, I want to have a chimera effect. You know, I want to be a mixture of multiple different animals. You can't really do that. There's also a limitation that you might have a time limit with regards to this power or the power that you are bestowing on yourself. So you might only have like maybe a minute timer or maybe 30 seconds. It just depends on the level of development you have with this. So take it as it is, it can, it can vary. Last limitation I wanna talk about is the fact that your powers might be compromised by size, like the size of your human body. So for instance, like uh, let's say you wanna copy a T-Rex. Like you will be pretty strong, but you won't have nearly the amount of power a T-Rex has because of you know the size of your body. You be pretty damn strong, but not as strong nearly as a real T-Rex because they're huge. All right, so that's gonna bring us to our scores for this power. There are five categories to break it down into. We got versatility, creativity, destructive capacity, combat potential, and daily use. These are all based on my opinion, so if you feel differently, just comment down there below. Starting us off, we're gonna start with versatility. Let's go right into it. It's a 10 out of 10. How can the animal powers not like benefit you in any scenario? If you can fly or run faster or swim better or, come on, man, like that's insane. Moving on, we got creativity. And honestly, for me, like, like versatility, I feel like you can be really creative with this power. I mean, I just think that with this power, you can do little subtle things with it. You know, you may manipulate your, your your body in a way that allows you to do things that just throw people off or just just to have fun with it. Just do it in a creative like aspect. Yeah, for me, it's just gonna be 10 out of 10 for creativity, no bells and whistles. Like I said, that's just me. If you think differently, let me know. All right, let's go over to the next category, that which is destructive capacity. 
You can channel powers with animals and that's really cool and there's some really dangerous and powerful animals out there, but like no animal out there, even past or present, is nuking a city. But that's okay because you don't have to be as super destructive with this power, especially doing some of the things it can do. It's gonna get a five. I, I know that seems like really lacking because I just gave it 10 for versatility and 10 for creativity, but I can't see it getting higher than five, guys. Moving on to combat potential. So combat potential wise, why are we kidding? You can move as fast as a cheetah, you have the strength of a gorilla, and you have the physical toughness of a rhino. What fight are you losing? Not even combat wise. What are you losing out on if you have all that working towards you? Anything you want to do sports wise, if you want to be a better football player, basketball player, track and field, swimmer, you win all the gold. It's getting a 10 out of 10 for combat potential. If you can channel animals, yeah, you're a beast, literally. Lastly, daily use. This is based purely on how often I would use this power. I would use it every day. I would wake up and just do like dumb stuff. If I could like use the powers of a spider and cling to a wall or hang upside down, I would do that just, just because I could. It's a 10 out of 10 out of 10 out of 10. I don't care, it's a 100 out of 10. That gives us a 45 out of 50, which is an A-class power. And yeah, A-class is right where this power needs to be. Channel animals, doing all the crazy stuff that animals can do. Yeah, you deserve an A for this. I wish it could have gotten an S, but like I said, I don't think you can be as destructive with this power. So A is good, A is perfect. It's perfect. So moving on to one of my favorite parts of the video, to talk about its best and worst user time. So for me, the bet, let's go with worst first. Let's go with worst is first, worst is first. Worst user for me is a character I have not the greatest information on. I just watched a little bit of like clips of her and like a couple videos with her in it. And um, yeah, I don't feel like she has the best usage of this power, but, but it's Eunice or Eunice from Ben 10, Omniverse, and uh, Ultimate Alien. She can do this kind of power too. She has animal imitation as well. She does it like copy other animals and whatnot. But she has a 10 minute time limit and she can only use one animal at a time. She can't like go from bear to rabbit like instantly. She has a cooldown time like an Omnitrix. So for me, that's a huge negative for me. If you can only have 10 minute time limit, that doesn't give me enough time to do a lot. And also, if I want to limit it to like one animal at a time, I mean, what's the point, dude? Like, so sorry for Ben 10 fans out there, Eunice or Eunice or whatever her name is, she gets the worst user of this. Now, moving on, let's go to our best user. Now, I had a lot of debate about this in my head, but let's be real, the best user by, by far is Vixen from DC. Listen, everything I've, I've read about her and everything I've seen in comics and on cartoons, yes, her powers are pretty much similar to Animal Man's. They are like, you know, beat for beat, the exact same power. But like the fact that she has the spider god, the trickster god, Anansi on her side, like as, you know, basically helping her out. And the fact that she doesn't have a discernible time limit and she can flip through powers like that. Her totem actually gives her knowledge on what the animals can do. Everything about her is just so good. Like everything I just named off was amazing. So yeah, of course she'd be the best user. There's no reason she wouldn't be the best user. If I could pick any character's powers to mimic, it'd be hers. Even with her totem, even though I'm normally like, oh, if you have an item, that doesn't make you a good user. But clearly she doesn't need the totem. The totem is more of just like, I guess it's kind of like having a scope when you're shooting, kind of like that. Like she has the ability to shoot, but the scope actually helps her shoot better. Thanks so very much for watching this video to the very end. I greatly appreciate it if you leave a like subscribing, as well as maybe commenting on the video. I like talking to you guys, but like I said, thank you again, and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, take care, peace.